Early Psychic Insights into the Season 7, 2008 American Idol. As an American Idol fan myself, it's exciting to see the new Idol get underway, and I'm beginning to get impressions about what is happening behind the curtains and in the coming season. On the surface, relationships between Randy, Paula, and Simon appear to have changed for the better. But as I psychically tune in, I feel Randy has buried a lot of hard feelings over the last couple years over contractual differences and downright bad blood with Simon's pompous attitude. Add the accumulated effects of a bad diet over a long time and the dog will find himself headed towards gallbladder problems, edema, or water retention. He also suffers from eye-related headaches and has experienced signs that he doesn't recognize yet that indicate the approach of a potential heart attack. Part of the reason is because he's trying to balance too many things on his plate. He's a busy, popular man. However, out front, while on the show, it's hard to see the pressure that he's under. This American Idol will see a less sympathetic Randy and an easier-going Simon. Although, as a whole, the dynamic trio will give more breaks than ever before. Television is desperate for talent, and any kind will do. Paula has tried to clean up her act, but can't seem to throw off her tendency to indulge in extremes. I sense she is still indulging in the same excesses. She's trying real hard to follow both Randy and Simon's behavior to appear normal. The first night, she was incapable of communication because she was just getting off and had to turn her head because she was incapable of speaking, fearing the audience and the world would become totally hip to the fact that she was wiped out before the show could get off the ground. Crazy thing is, Simon knew what she was going through and didn't offer any help. I predict that this will be her last season on the show, partially because of psychological problems related to the use of prescription drugs and disorientation following middle-age depressions, in addition to the fear generated from an affair with a younger man. No, this man is not from the show. Simon is well aware of her problems and refuses to help her out, preferring to embarrass her just at the right time. In fact, he gets off on it. As everyone suspects, Simon has a semi-sadistic side. Even though he would never admit it, is embarrassed easily and suffers from a super-fragile ego because he is, in fact, an introvert. He prefers to see himself as a great critic and a sincere, direct person. Look forward to some deep-seated emotional conflicts to arise on the air this season which will be difficult for Simon to handle, involving angry, insulted females. Also, I sense a scary confrontation with a revenge-seeking female and a personal issue with his girlfriend. There is a side of him that enjoys nagging people or critiquing until he's on the spot, partially because he struggles between a desire to be a big, tough guy and realizing that he isn't. It pisses him off when he encounters someone who is bold enough to challenge his ego. He doesn't like to be questioned. His major ego problem is being stuck up and arrogant. He suffers from the superiority complex that is British-centric. This personality disorder will be his downfall, although he is becoming more conscious of his problem. He will get caught in a compromising situation with an idle contestant, mainly because he finds it extremely difficult to control his base appetite and the beaten impulses. This time, it's his turn to get caught with his pants down, although he will manage to deny, deny, deny. He will run into a standoff by both Randy and his partner, Paula, that will place the show on some shaky grounds for a while in terms of communication. Paula doesn't show up for one show, 
and claims it was for dressing room failures, but in truth, she will be plastered and non-functional. Ryan Seacrest, despite his squeaky, clean appearances, is far from it. I sense a problem with late-night parties that cause him to show up late and abandon some unique opportunities. Add a rejection from a young lady that leaves him depressed and despondent, and this year, Ryan faces a come-down from the glitz and success of his past busy year. His health isn't at optimum. He has been indulging in a poor diet that will leave him twice his normal size by the end of the year. However, he will pull out of both of these problems because he is a vain young man that works off an inferiority complex which makes him fight back harder and yet tends to get him into conflicts with his peers and arguments on the show, especially with Simon. Constant rumors of him being gay are false. I sense that he is strongly attracted to females and has many admirers. Regardless of the show's slow start in Philadelphia, things pick up considerably in Dallas and some real stars are beginning to shine early. I sense that a male will win the idol this time. Look forward every week for more information.